What's going on gardeners? On today's two minute garden tip, I'm going to show you all what the difference is between hybrid open pollinated and heirloom tomatoes and why hybrid tomatoes tend to be much better performers in our garden. Earlier in the year, I showed you the four different varieties of cherry tomatoes that I'm growing in my garden. Three are F1 hybrids and one is not. The first one here is sun sugar and it's starting to get diseased, but overall still doing really well. The second variety is sun gold, also starting to get disease on bits and pieces of it, but overall is still doing really well. Now the next two plants are Super Sweet 100. They are super disease resistant hybrids and they are doing great as well despite a little bit of disease. Then over here we have the one that is not a hybrid. This is black cherry and this tomato right here, as you can see, is nearly dead and it will have to be ripped out soon. So why is this variety so much less disease resistant than the hybrids? When we say that a tomato plant is a hybrid, all that means is it is a natural cross. So if you have two genetically unique, different varieties of tomato plant planted within proximity of each other, and a bee flies from one flower of one variety to one flower of the other, and they get male pollen from one variety onto the female parts of the other flower, the seeds that will form inside of that fruit that forms on that cross-pollinated flower, when you plant the seeds, every single individual seed will be a random hybrid between one plant and the other plant. So just like human beings, they are a mix of the mother and the father. So every seed will be genetically unique. All of those seeds would be F1 or filial 1 hybrids. Now what makes tomatoes interesting is that they have the ability to pollinate themselves because they have the male and female parts of a flower enclosed on one single flower. So if the wind blows and shakes up the pollen all over the female parts of that flower, it will pollinate itself. So a stabilized variety can effectively clone itself where every individual seed if you plant those seeds will be a genetic direct copy of the parent plant. In order to stabilize an open pollinated variety, a grower will have to grow out that seed and then save one unique tomato plant and then grow it in isolation, making sure it only pollinates itself for about seven to eight generations. And after inbreeding with itself for about seven to eight generations, you will get, generally speaking, a stabilized variety that you can then call open pollinated. Now, all an heirloom variety is, is an open pollinated variety whose lineage can be traced back at least 50 years. So that's all the word heirloom means. So why are hybrid varieties so much more disease resistant and productive in general compared to heirloom and open pollinated varieties? Well, the answer to that is genetics and general generally speaking, human intervention. When growers try to stabilize an open pollinated variety, they are selecting the fruit that they save the seeds from with very different characteristics than nature otherwise would. Nature wants to save the seediest fruits, the least colorful fruits, and the least sweet fruits, because those are the ones that will have the most seed and be the least likely to be eaten by pests and attract pests. So nature actually has its best interest to have lower quality fruit in terms of how our palates identify fruit as high quality or low quality. Breeders usually save fruit for the exact opposite reason. We save the fruit that is the most attractive and colorful, that is the largest, that is the sweetest and lowest in seeds. So what we are saving is actually what mother nature doesn't want. We are prizing the recessive genes that make the plants more attractive to pests and more susceptible to disease. So in our effort to try and stabilize that variety by only saving seed from what looks like the best fruits for us, we are actually breeding a genetically weak plant. So that is why open pollinated varieties and heirlooms tend to be a lot less disease resistant and productive. We are sacrificing the natural pesticides and the natural tools and traits inside that plant that try to keep pests away. And when we keep F1 hybrids, because they are the first seeds in a cross, there is no human intervention there. And all of those, uh, those disease resistant characteristics and those pest resistant characteristics that form naturally in the plant are left in. 
they are basically unadulterated and not changed by humans. So contrary to popular belief, it's the F1 hybrid plants that are actually more natural because they are less changed and affected by humans. That's why they tend to be more productive, more disease resistant, and less susceptible to pests. Whereas the ones that we have saved over generations for ideals and traits that mother nature generally doesn't want, that's why they tend to be more susceptible to pests and disease. And that's today's two minute garden tip. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell to receive new video notifications and check out our Amazon storefront and spread shop in the video description for a list of the gardening products I use and awesome custom designed apparel and other gear. Your support is greatly appreciated.